A small group of anti-prop protesters chanting outside, a packed press conference featuring the who's who of the Arizona Coyotes and the city of Tempe, including legendary player Shane Doan, sending one last message for people to vote yes. It has, gives us an opportunity to turn a landfill into something that is a place where we can all gather. The Tempe City Council approved the multi-billion dollar development plan back in November to turn a landfill near Tempe Town Lake into a landmark, the developers say. And on Monday, ballots will go out to voters. It could become a reality. The city estimates the entertainment district will bring in $690 million in economic impact and nearly 7,000 new jobs. If you don't believe us, listen to your neighbors, listen to your leaders. And what they are saying is, this is the right project, this is the right deal, and we are the right team to execute on it. The Coyotes say the project is privately funded, but the city of Tempe would give the developers large tax breaks and indirect subsidies, a part of the deal critics don't agree with, especially for the Coyotes owner, Alex Morello, who had a messy divorce with Glendale over unpaid bills. Why would we want to develop a relationship with somebody with that kind of track record? Meanwhile, NHL commissioner Gary Bettman is voicing his support for Morello and this proposal, but stops short of promising the Coyotes will stay if the vote fails. Can the Coyotes be moved out of Arizona? I, I'm not going to go there. We're, we're focused on the referendum, and it would not be appropriate for me to talk about what might happen uh, because some people, particularly those who are interested in the rhetoric, might perceive it as a threat, and we're not focused on it at all. The ballots are dropping on Monday. We will surely keep you updated here and on our AZ Family News app. In Tempe, I'm David Coltbiano with Arizona's Family.